identify what type of figure that you have. And this type of figure you guys can see is a parallelogram. The next step is to identify what the formula is. So I write parallelogram. Parallelogram, area equals base times height. That's a no-brainer. We've already provided this information to you. You guys should already know this. It should already be written down, right? Now the next hard thing is identifying what is the base and what is the height. Now this is where it gets a little bit more, a little bit difficult because the base is pretty obvious. We guys can see. We know that's seven, right? That's what's going to lay on. So base is not too bad. But now we need to figure out the height. Yes, Taylor. Remember, the height is a distance, right? Or it's a length. Degrees is going to be a distance of an angle, right? Remember, what we're trying to do for the height, we're trying to find this length, OK? So Taylor, 45 degrees measures the length of that angle. It doesn't actually measure the, the distance from here to here. <laughs> Does anybody remember what we could do to find H, though? Special right triangles. Now, you could use trig, but special right triangles is the easiest. So if this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and this is x times x times, what do you multiply x times Square. here? Does anybody remember? Square. Square root of 2. But, so I'm providing you an answer here, and I want to go back, then I have to get rid of the square root of 2. By, by two. X. dividing by the square root of 2. To go from here to here, you multiply by the square root of 2. To go from here to here, you divide, divide by the square root of 2. So in this case, what we have is 3 squared of 2, and we want to find out h. So to do that, we take 3 squared of 2 divided by the square root of 2. No so way. h equals 3. How do you do that? All right. So now it's just 7 times 3. A Wait. equals 21. Explain that again. I That's what I'm saying. Um, so when we learn the special right triangles, all right, why do you need the angles? Because what the angles tell you is this is a special right triangle. And what we learned about special right triangles when it was a 45, 45, 90 triangle that if I gave you one length of the triangle, the other leg was exactly the same length. And then, if I wanted to find the hypotenuse of that triangle, you would just take the leg and multiply it by the square root of 2. That worked for all 45, 45, 90 triangles. So, an example. Let's say I said this was 5. Then this leg has to be? Five. five, and this would be five square root of two. Five square root of two. Okay, but in this case, they only gave us three times square root of two, and then we needed to figure out this. So we divided by the square root of two to find our height. Once we knew the height, we plugged it into the formula. All right. Uh, I will let you guys know that these formulas are pretty easy, right, Megan? You're just multiplying two numbers. So to make these problems difficult, 